today on Be Something Wonderful, how to be spiritual and the conscious creator of your own reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video for you today. I want to talk about this client that said, you know, Tom, I don't really feel that spiritual or, a, or, or like the powerful creator of my own reality. Interesting, right? And she said, you know, I'm really struggling with my thoughts and my feelings and the 3D circumstances. Well, guys, we're going to talk about this today and more. We're going to really unpack it. Remember, being spiritual or a powerful conscious creator of your reality, of your own reality, is not about thinking and feeling positive thoughts all the time. This is what she's been struggling with, right? Rather, it's about identifying as source, right? As the identity and awareness within which all thoughts and feelings and conditions appear. Hear this. That's the true meaning of positivity. It's measured by the degree you aspire to and identify with and identify as the one and only source of all thoughts, all feelings, and all circumstances. Seeing that greater fulfillment, do you see that? It's not, that's what true positivity means. That's what the ancients are talking about. That's the whole idea of the, of the levels of consciousness or the, or the low vibrations and high vibrations. It's the degree that you aspire to identify with as that I am awareness, as that all that isness, as the one and only reality. So remember, you are the awareness, the knowing, that self-aware intelligence, the unconditional love within which all those changing conditions, thoughts and feelings and circumstances, live, move, exist, and have their being, like the ancients said in Acts 17.28. It's not about only, hear this, it's not about only seeing, manifesting, perceiving, and experiencing what you want, the thing or the things that you desire, hear this loud and clear, but rather, it's seeing what you want and desire in all things. Wow. Think of the power here. It's not about only seeing, manifesting, perceiving, experiencing what you want, the things you desire, but rather it's seeing what you want and desire in all things, what you love in all things, seeing the love and fulfillment in all things, in all thoughts, in all feelings, in all conditions, as source, as that I am awareness. Your awareness, your seeing, your perceiving is reality. That's why you're seeing, you're perceiving itself, you're looking, it is reality. It's the only reality. Wow, that's powerful. That's why, that's what Wayne Dyer, Dr. Wayne Dyer meant when he said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Why? because you're looking is reality, right? There is no out there, out there. John Wheeler, the famous scientist said, means you're looking. What does that mean? What is he saying? It means that you're looking, that you're perceiving, that you're seeing and you're assuming itself is the out there. There is no out there other than you're looking, you're perceiving, seeing, and assuming. Right? That's what it means when we say you're not looking at reality, you're looking as reality. Wow, that's powerful. So there's no greater power to create, to bend and manifest reality, or in other words, perform, perform miracles, because that's what you're doing, than to assume or be aware of love and fulfillment. No greater power, why? Because that love and fulfillment is the power itself. Love and fulfillment is the only power. It's all power. It's all knowing. It's all that is. It's existence itself. It's the great I am. The great isness of reality. It's existence or life itself. Life itself has to be love and fulfillment. What else could it be? It's the, it's the structure 
of creation or ultimate reality. Love and fulfillment is the actual structure of creation. That's the great I am. That's that changeless eternal I am that I am. What, what God said to Moses, that's my name. That's existence itself. That's life itself. That's the great I am. Wow, that's powerful. So, so instead of asking and demanding that conditions change or asking why am I thinking, feeling, seeing, and experiencing this or, or these unwanted conditions from an identity and assumption that I'm not that person yet. I am not yet who I want to be. Being triggered by the conditions, being triggered by others, being triggered by your thoughts and feelings. The changing, shaky, crumbling structure of I am not yet. That's what that's built on, right? And you're asking, well, why am I thinking, feeling, and seeing this? You're trying to fix, you're trying to influence, you're trying to prop up the unreality of that crumbling structure of I am not. It's always crumbling, it's always changing. It's not reality, it's an unreality. Instead of that, aspire to, be aware of, focus on being the awareness and the changeless reality and structure of the love and fulfillment within which all these appearances are taking place. That I am awareness. That's the structure that is never shakes, is, is, is never, never changing, is never shaky, right? Be triggered by the knowing that I am that I am. Wow, be triggered by that. Be triggered by love and fulfillment. Whew. That's powerful. <laughs> trying to think positive thoughts, trying to feel better, trying to resolve thoughts and feelings, trying to change, influence, fix, get rid of, or even hold on to if they're favorable conditions. Changing 3D inner and outer conditions is built on the shaky, always crumbling structure of I am not yet, that which I doesn't want to be. It's built on I am not, right? It's not built on that, that natural structure, that unshakable, changeless structure of I am that I am, right? It's a natural I am not. You are struggling against your very nature or name, I am. You give your power and authority away to the crumbling structure of I am not. That's unnatural. Remember, there's higher thought, higher feeling that we call source energy. That's the true structure of reality. That reflects the true structure of existence, of life, of love, the naturalness of who you are, right? And so instead of dealing with all that, aspire to, Point to, identify with that great I am of who you are. Wow, that's powerful. So, so being spiritual or powerful or the powerful conscious creator of your own reality is not about trying to think more positively and feel better about conditions that you don't want. Hear this again. This is powerful. Being spiritual or the powerful conscious creator of your own reality is not about trying to think more positively and feel better about conditions that you don't want or desire, right? It's not about looking out there and saying, oh, I, I don't want those, how do I feel better, right? It's none of that. But it's to see what you want and desire in all conditions. Wow, hear it. It's to see what you want and desire in all of those conditions. So it's not about it's not about trying to think more positively and feel better about those conditions that you don't prefer, but rather to see what you want and prefer and desire in all those conditions. In other words, transmute those conditions, right? To change those conditions into what you want by only seeing, looking for the fulfillment within all of it. That's built on the unshakable structure of I am built on the structure of love and fulfillment. I am that I am. That never wavers. It never wobbles. It never crumbles. It never changes. Get triggered by the love of what you want versus the lack of what you don't want. That's what, so triggers, trigger is just a name we made up and that we think of that as negative. But when you start thinking that, wait a minute, I can be triggered by love and fulfillment. 
I can look at all those changing thoughts and feelings and circumstances through the eyes of fulfillment. Because I know when I look, that's reality. I know when I'm perceiving, that's reality. I know that when, whatever I'm seeing, the seeing itself is reality. You can see it all through fulfillment. Get triggered by that. Know that if you're seeing, perceiving, manifesting, and experiencing it, then it must be unfolding for your ideal, for your benefit, for your, towards your wish fulfilled. It must be. When you see it that way, then it must be because you're the only reality. Your assumption, your declaration, your announcement, how you see and perceive and look is the only reality. Make love and fulfillment your only reality. That's what it means to be spiritual and the powerful creator of your own reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash be something wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen for being part of our membership channel. We just released a powerful, powerful video talking about the metaphysical nature, the metaphysical story of Noah's Ark. Really powerful. If you haven't seen it, if you remember, watch it. If you're not, check out the link below. Um, we've also done a couple shorts on it. And this month, in another week or so, we have our, our third live stream, our third live event of the year to be broadcast on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. Be sure to join us. Creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful in Las Vegas. Until next time, we'll see you soon.